For the past two years, I have been working on a problem which has been motivated by the Deepwater Horizon spill. And in particular, we were looking on how the rotation of the Earth affects the dynamics of an oil plume. My experimental setup consists of a very large tank, which contains about one ton of water, and it is placed on a rotating turntable. We produce either salt water plumes or bubble plumes, and there is a cyclonic circulation which forms around the plume in the tank, and when the plume, plume hits the bottom, it starts to spread laterally, and once it starts to spread laterally, the rotation inhibits its lateral spreading, so at some point the plume will undergo the so-called baroclinic instability. One of the critical points here that we are arguing is the importance of rotation of the Earth, and that is quite a big hypothesis. This is effectively a very small plume. It's like uh, it starts with a, maybe a 50 centimeter source. At the top, it might be a few hundred meters maybe at the surface. So compared to a hurricane which fills the rotation of the Earth and which spans hundreds of kilometers, this is extremely small. So the main point that we realize in the experiments and in the numerical simulation is that because the fluid is drawn from further and further away, conservation of angular momentum forces then the rotation of the Earth to start playing a role. But this happens only after one rotation period. We try also in the consortium, we have a representative from BP, we have people who are in the remediation, uh, so those who are like the first people to respond when there is a crisis, when there is an emergency, and they want to um, uh, really uh, use this knowledge, all the information that we uh, start understanding better, so that then they can act appropriately and as effectively and as fast as possible.